Let's write calculated program utilizing switch case statement. I'll ask the user to input his choice. The choices being 1 being for addition, 2 for subtraction, 3 for multiplication and 4 for division. I'll store the user's choice in a variable called choice. Now I'll show you the switch case statement. Switch and case are keywords. So the choices are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So our cases will be 1 through 4. We need not input our statements inside a curly braces in switch case statements. So I'll directly go ahead and perform the addition operation here. And important thing is break keyword. If we don't specify the keyword break, it will continue and and execute the code present inside next case. In this case, the case 2. So for case 3, we will perform multiplication. When it comes to division, it, it gets interesting. So if I'll write if B is not equal to 0, then I'll perform the division operation. If b is 0, I'll tell the user that we can't divide a number by 0. And one more thing, we have another case that is default case. It's like else statement in f if else statements. Whenever any of the cases doesn't match, default statements will get executed. By the way, default is optional. Okay. Now I'll ask the user to input his choice. Let his choice not be greater than 4. If he enters something greater than 4, I'll just display, display a friendly message for him. If his choice is within 4, I'll ask the user to enter two integer numbers and store it inside variable a and b. Okay, let's compile and execute this program so let me enter 2 for subtraction 60 minus 10 is 50 now for division I'll enter something which can be divided now I'll enter 5 out of range okay so what if we have a b c d here i'll take choice as a character variable so i'll have to change this to percentage c okay i'll i'll change the case to character cases that is a b and c and d instead of percentage d i need to do percentage c and i'll remove this because it's not a number choice is not a number right now so let me execute and check that if it works I'll give a for addition yeah it's working so please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video without fail I'll explain and give source code for more variations of this switch case statements also you can find the notes and other discussions in the link present in the description section of this youtube video and do not forget to stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you